What's up guys, Turgo Live here and Patch 10.2 has been out around two weeks now and Blizzard has already given us more information on the upcoming Patch 10.2.5. An exciting feature that people have been asking for is on the way, dragon riding outside of the Dragon Isles, as well as new Dragonflight follower dungeons and a quest line to retake Gilneas. So let's go over the five main features coming in Patch 10.2.5. Keep in mind, however, that part of the footage I am showing is from the PTR, so some of it may be changed or tweaked. Starting off with one of the more exciting features is dragon riding anywhere in Azeroth that flying is available, with a caveat. Unlike the normal buff you get on the Dragon Isles, you receive a buff called Riding Abroad that restricts dragon riding mounts movement to 80% of their maximum speeds. I honestly felt the need to test this out to make sure you can literally do it in so many places, and you can. You can. Not confirming that it is literally everywhere, but it is definitely in most places that matter. This will be a huge benefit for mount farming and old world content as needed. Follower dungeons are a cool new feature being introduced as patch, and I tested one out and is overall pretty intuitive. Follower dungeons are similar to the trust system in FF14 if you played that, and they will be available for all eight of the original Dragonflight dungeons on normal difficulty. You are able to queue solo or in a group of up to four players in the party. Now, whatever role you are not able to fill, an AI will fill in and help complete the group. You are able to let the AI lead you through the dungeon, or you can choose to be the one that leads, which I thought was really cool. Rewards that are given for these will be similar to normal dungeon loot with players, but this technology being in game from 10.2.5 and on will make it where they can implement for dungeons in the War Within. It's been some time since the Battle of Gilneas and Gen Greymane is finally ready to retake his home, so in this patch we'll be able to help him do just that. Should be an interesting questline breaking into the lore and finding out what happened to Gilneas after all these years and help Gen reclaim it. Testing of Gilneas will not be available on the PTR, so we will have to wait until patch day to see it unfold. Azerothian Archives will be a fun new event to dive into lore of the Dragon Isles and meet unique characters, hear stories, and symbolic representation of times before. You will be able to participate in solo and group activities at Trader's Rest with a weekly public event to earn battle pets, mounts, and a transmog set. There will be an advertisement in Sapphire Enclave Library located in Valdraken to start the questline. Now I'm going to include this as the fifth main feature, but it is not the biggest addition. However, it is cool for both Troll and Draenei users. Trolls will get five new hair colors to pick from, gold, blue, green, pink, and a maroonish like color. Next up, Draenei's will be able to have a dark skin color option for both male and female. Wanted to also include that the Warlock Pet Dark Glare and Demonic Tyrant Cooldown Pets will have more customization added with multiple colors and variants to pick from. From the promotional piece for Seeds of Renewal, Dragonflight epilogues were mentioned to be happening this patch to wrap up the story for the Dragon Isles, but nothing yet, of course, on the direction of that. And that about wraps up the main features we can come to expect from 10.2.5. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I do want to shout out my channel on Twitch. I stream WoW and other MMOs if you want to hang out with us over there. Make sure to hit the like button for the algorithm, sub for more content, and I will see you in the next video.